as part of the course, there is the opportunity to be involved in the research that's happening in the HRB Clinical Research Facility in conjunction with the, the hospital here on Enyoi Galway. So it's a research facility and they run trials out of that. Um, and they're the ones who run the masters. So you do have opportunity to get involved in real world trials and first-hand experience with, uh, with how they're run with the research nurses. From my perspective, coming from engineering, it's, it's a wonderful opportunity to be able to get involved in the HRB uh, clinical research facility. I'm doing my PhD at Solar Seawater Desalination System. I choose my topic based on the necessity of the topic on my country, especially on my country. There is many countries, they don't have a source of energy and they have a critical problem of water. It's a very important topic, not only in Palestine, but also in the Mediterranean countries and Africa. How to get a clean water? By using a renewable energy. This is a big challenge for engineering nowadays. My research aims is to develop and enhance a solar power seawater desalination system. Removing the soil from the sea Using the radiation from the sun could be the potential solution for both the problems. Our lab is the glycoscience group in the new biosciences building and we're basically, we're studying glycans which they cover at the cell surface and they're very important in cell-to-cell -cell interactions. So we're looking at the changes in these glycans that they're indicators for disease. We have new technologies and one certain thing is a, a mucin array that we're the very first in Ireland to have that kind of array to decipher cell-to-cell -cell interactions and how exactly the cells are working in terms of glycans and their structures and the changes of structures. As I'm doing the research masters, I have picked up a lot of sk different skills that I wouldn't necessarily get from a taught masters, that it, you know, it's, it's purely project based. So the skills I could, you know, stay in academia and do a PhD and go down that route, or I could uh, drift off and go into industry. And just in terms of my research, yeah, it hasn't been easy, but you know, I have learned a lot along the way and it's kind of, the worst is yet to come in terms of write up, but you know, it's, it's been, it has been enjoyable so far. Well, one of the things that attracted me about the course was the, uh, the reputation that the National Centre for, Bi for Biomedical Engineering Science had and if the researchers and the lecturers there have all had uh, industry experience and they, you know, they, they collaborate uh, through research partnerships with industry. The, the lecturers uh, brought that into the course, so there was lots of practical elements in the course that helped and you, it was easy to see where the learning where, and the coursework could easily be applied to what we were doing at work. For the first two semesters, it's all there's a lot of lectures and there's some lab aspects as well. And then you have your summer project, which you're going to be in the lab with one of the researchers here at Remedy. And there is there is a potential to go to other labs in around Ireland as well. Like this year, they have projects in Dublin. After that, like you get a lot of great experience being in a lab for three months working on a project. And after that, the career opportunities can vary from working in industry to going to a lab to do your PhD or as a research assistant. One of the guys I knew last year who did the Masters in Regenerative Medicine, he's now doing his PhD in Madrid. So I'm pretty sure that's an attractive thing to go for, <laughs> PhD in the sun.